Selena Gomez is making headlines once again as her documentary was recently released on Apple TV Plus on November 4th. The Wizards of Waverly Plays actress has given a few interviews following the release, and one such interview where a host asked her if she's close to anyone in the music industry, Selena revealed that her only friend in the industry is Taylor Swift. So now almost everyone on the internet, or at least the fans of both mainstream pop artists, is aware of their rare friendship. The two have been solid friends since 20 and have had each other's back throughout the various ups and downs they have faced respectively in all these years. So what happened recently that has led some people to give backlash to the 30-year-old rare beauty founder? Watch this video till the end to find out. Here we begin! In her documentary titled, My Mind and Me, Selena Gomez has given the audience a glimpse of her life journey and revealed her struggles with having lupus, bipolar disorder, and anxiety and how she dealt with them and came out stronger. There is one more name that's always linked with Selena. You probably guessed it right. Justin Bieber, another mainstream pop artist. They both dated on and off for several years until 2018 when Justin married his now wife Hailey Bieber, but the media and often fans love to drag their names together even when necessary and still continue to do so often. This has also upset the singer a great deal and she has spoken about it in my mind and me. So what recently happened is after her statement about Taylor Swift in her recent interview, some people started pointing out her ungrateful Selena that she forgot to mention Francia Reza and that she is betraying her friends. Now let us tell you a little about Francia if you don't already have any idea about her. She is an American actress, popularly known for her Part in shows like The Secret Life of the American Teenager, Garonish, and Bring It On, All or Nothing. She also appeared in How I Met Your Father this year, which is the spin-off of the series 2009's How I Met Your Mother. So how are Selena and Francia connected? They met for the first time during a charity event for children back in 2007 and became close kids. And in 2015, after Selena was diagnosed with lupus, she needed a kidney transplant. Francia came forward and gave Selena her kidney, which almost saved Selena's life. So you can imagine the bond they must have shared. But fast forward to a few years, there have been news and speculations that the pair had a falling out since there have been very few sightings of them together. On the other hand, Taylor and Selena have continued to show each other support on social media whenever one of them starts a new adventure. Selena gave a shout out to Taylor's studio album Folklore, released unexpectedly during the pandemic on her Instagram story. She has recently shown her support for Taylor's new album Midnights once again on her Instagram story. Taylor also posted about Selena's rare album on her Instagram story when it was released in 2020 after a hiatus of more than four years after Gomez's last full-fledged album release. Swift also posted a story about Selena's new documentary mentioning how proud she is of her best friend and how she'll love her forever. The two celebrated Gomez's 30th birthday on 22nd of July this year and Selena posted a picture on Instagram titled 30 Nerdy and Worthy, which had the fans gushing about their friendship. The pair met for the first time in 2008, when they were both supposedly dating different Jonas brothers. Gomez was linked with Nick Jonas and Swift was seeing Joe Jonas. Even though the respective relationship ended that very year, the friendship between the girls only grew stronger and the fan Taylina even gave them a ship name. Selena even appeared in Taylor's Bad Blood music video in 2015. So when some people started posting comments about Selena not being thoughtful enough to take Francia's name, they began comparing her friendship with both the actress and pop star, pointing out that it was Francia who ultimately saved her life and at least deserved mention. And as its news spread like wildfire on the internet, this too became big news, and some people even called the only murders in the building star mean and accused her of looking for publicity. And it looks like this caught Selena's attention too. The actress is active on TikTok, and although she has revealed that she does not use any social media site directly, she asks her manager or assistants to post videos and pictures. So the actress recently commented on a viral TikTok post, highlighting her comments about Taylor being her only friend in the industry. She replied that she had no idea she needed to mention everyone she knew. In the same post, Francia also commented that it was interesting and deleted it later, but the media never rests or lets anything slide. So they caught this too. And well, this drama continues. This is for today, but we'll be back with more juicy content. Stay tuned. Until then, like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.